Hi guys, in the last video we covered loop and with it we introduced an infinite loop to our uh, Rust program and basically this program went infinitely until the user typed in XX for, for, for the name and then what it did with break it exited that loop whereas if uh, the user input YY then we would exit the current iteration and enter a new iteration. So that was the program here and again uh, also if the user input uh, an invalid age then uh, it will, it, the program will report an error with the age and then would exit the current iteration and, and enter a new iteration. Right, now that's with loop. Now let's tackle the second type of loops in, um, in, uh, in Rust which is basically the while. Now I could easily convert that program to a while loop using while and true because this is exactly what loop is loop is a while always true statement and that's basically this works as well now obviously here is a warning from from Russ telling me that you know you could do infinite loops with loop but this would still work let's save it and let's do a cargo run And it, it tells me, yeah, yeah, you know, got warnings and so on. And uh, now it's compiled. And you can see now it runs as before. Let's say Frank. And age is uh, 13. And you're a minor. And then Julia. And age is 28. You're an adult. And if I go XX, I exit. So it basically works exactly as before, except that uh, Rust doesn't like that because it has specifically for infinite loops it has the keyword loop uh, while true is is basically not well received but it still works it still works now let's do another type of let, let's let's stay with while but let's now take it differently and we're gonna here introduce uh, a new variable which is basically let mute and we call that exit flag an exit flag is basically a string new and yep right and now here the while is going to be like this while exit flag dot trim is not equal to yes then that loop will take place and so what that means <clears throat> is that we've now specified a, a, a new variable called exit flag mind you outside the loop i have to i have to uh, um, uh, create that variable outside the loop because here at this stage while needs to know about it so and um, that is basically the the whole thing and then <clears throat> and then here what i do is like I initialize exit flag at the beginning of the loop I, I initialize exit flag to an empty string and this has to be converted to uh, to a string because mind you we've, we've declared exit flag as a string so leaving it like this will get me an error and you can see here it has to be converted to a string so basically the way to convert to string is with a simple method uh, dot and then to string this is basically a method uh, connected to that string object. Right. I've, now, the only thing what I got to do, <clears throat> I've got to here enable or um, allow the user to, to input something if he needs to exit. Because what I'm taking off, I'm taking off this. I'm commenting this out. This is, doesn't exist anymore. And what I'm going to have is, let me copy just to save some time. <clears throat> Let's take this. Copy. And I take it down here, and we just say exit question mark uh, press Y to exit uh, or any character or any character to stay in. Right, and then here we use exit flag, okay, and no flag was read, 
So now here we have another condition, which is basically if uh, exit flag dot trim is y for yes, then uh, break else, which is basically any other character, uh, continue. Right. And that is now our program. Now we have what we have now done, we have just converted it from an <clears throat> infinite loop to a while loop. And let's try it out. Uh, I'm just checking if I got any mistakes somewhere. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, then let's go cargo run. Okay, so let's get moving. Uh, let's type in the name. Let's say Bob. Uh, enter your age. I am 26. Exit. Uh, just type in anything. Enter your name. My age. Uh, 56. Okay. Uh, let's type still anything. Or uh, your name. Let's say Lena. And enter your age, let's say uh, 34. Uh, okay, uh, press Y and we just exit it. So it basically had the same effect as before, except now we are doing it with a while loop. And you see that, but that's just my personal opinion, the loop, the initial loop was more suitable to our program because we didn't need this variable. We didn't need this sort of initialization. What I'm doing here basically is every time at the start of the loop, I'm making sure that exit flag is empty because I don't want exit flag to have any older inputs that you input in here, you see? So that's why I'm ensuring that exit flag is empty at the beginning of the loop. So I know that it does not contain any old input you put in the previous iteration, but basically, works exactly the same as the first version of our program with loop except that it has you know more code it needs more code and that's why for such a case for such a scenario the a loop with the loop keyword is in this case more suitable than the while loop